somebody drop some change? When it comes to money, Terrence and Greg don't play around. By washing my clothes in the shower, I'm saving at least $15 a month. They painstakingly count their pennies. Terrence doesn't want to spend money on anything. I don't have a couch. It costs me zero dollars and zero cents. Cha-ching. Until the savings pile up. I save water if you only flush it once a week. But when everything's all added up, who really foots the bill? Greg is a little cheap. That was the most embarrassing moment in my life. No shame in my game. Welcome to the world of extreme cheapskates. My name is Dr. Terrence Kendall, and I'm an extreme cheapskate. I've been an educator for 35 years. I have two PhDs, and I coach basketball. Hold up. Time out. Somebody drop some change. Why are you always picking up pennies? I am tired of students who disregard the importance of money. So I'm going to pick up every penny they drop on the floor. And by the end of the day, I got two or three dollars. No shame in my game. As you can see, I have a beautiful couch. I, I, I don't have a couch. <laughs> What's that look like? <laughs> Terrence is so cheap, he doesn't want to spend money on anything. Look above his head, he's so cheap, he won't even put a second coat of paint on the wall. One coat One is coat. fine. Here, you can still <laughs> see the original color of the house. It was $150 this is where you live. for that bucket of paint. And I painted the whole house with that one bucket of paint. They said it should have been three buckets of paint. I saved $300 on paint alone. People rarely come over, and it's, it's kind of hard to entertain, especially when you don't have furniture. We have to it, lay on the floor just to see TV. You can see it perfectly from here. Look, you can sit in the chair, and you can look at the TV. It's, it's, it's just fine. I believe we have made enough money in this house to afford some furniture. I have two children, Dyra Kandel II and Terrence Kandel Jr. This is my son's room. I, I asked for a desk and a chair. You got a chair! I have a, I have a folding chair. I got it from the school! Exactly. <laughs> We're the ones who have to sacrifice. For him, it's easy, but for us, it's kind of hard. Welcome to my lovely daughter's room. You can see she has all the amenities. That is ready to That's fall down. That's a beautiful desk. He broke it, and as opposed to throwing it away, he sawed off the part that broke off and then gave it to her as a desk. How ridiculous is that? It's a great shade. It cost me exactly zero dollars and zero cents. Cha-ching. This is my spot over here, what I call the man cave. They already had like a barbecue that was right here. I thought, wow, I could probably save mm, five or six hundred dollars by not buying a desk. Strange people come into your house and they use your hand towels and you gotta wash them. Way too much money. No, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the electronic hand towel dispenser. That towel dispenser dispenses at about a rate of five cents a week. He is so cheap. My husband has um, quite a wardrobe. Most of it is as old as our kids. He just won't go out and buy new clothes. Come on, this, this shirt has had it. I mean, look at the collar. It's like, I'm what? done, I'm dead. If I need a shirt, then I'll borrow it from my son. This is my son's shirt. It looks good on me. It's a constant battle. Look at that. This is how people literally have to ring the doorbell. This doesn't make any sense. In terms of how much I've saved on keeping things the way they are and necessities only, uh, I have saved upwards of $45,000. We live like we are poor, but I know Terrence has money. My family is always asking me, how much money do we have? So I let them look at something that shows them how much money we have. I have 16 accounts. But the minute my family finds out where they are, they're gonna be asking for money. I tell them, okay, we only have such and such amount of money, and that's here under home account. When they leave, I go here. There are 10 accounts that no one knows about. <laughs> In my credit union account, there's $21,000. There's $19,679, that's at the bank, and this is the one that has $113,978. All right, family, 
It's allowance time, folks. My daily allowance for my family is a way of teaching them to manage their money. I bring in my own paycheck. However, we had an agreement that he would have the control over um, how the money's allocated. But I think he's gotten a bit extreme as to my spending habits. Now, I need you to think about this because you're always going over budget. Being on an allowance when we were younger was good because I didn't know how to handle money. But being older and being on an allowance, that's kind of hard for me now. I would like to have a little bit more money. It's too little. My wife is never satisfied, and I think $20 is more than sufficient. I appreciate my family for going all year with the very minimum. So I'll splurge and take my family out to a restaurant, and I'll pay for it with a huge bag of coinage. Bill Dyer said, Green Forest Cafe. Forest Cafe. Mom Something. said, Scott's. Scott's. Wolfgang Puck. Oh, you smoke. <laughs> I got the calls for it. <laughs> Terrence takes me out to a fine dining restaurant one time out of the year. It's supposed to be just a wonderful experience. Oh, well, you know, McDonald's is an option. No, it's not. <laughs> we all look forward to it. Hello. Hello. Hey. How are you? Uh, I'm doing just fine. Hi. Welcome. How you kind of show to see me. <laughs> I thought it was quite amazing that my aunt and uncle just happened to show up. What he didn't know was that I invited them. They always give to us. This is the opportunity for him to give back. We're about to go on our family dinner. You guys but should we come with seen us. in such a long time. I did that really to get under his skin, also just to show him that, you know, you can't always be tight-fisted. We would love to have you. I did not expect to be taking her out to dinner. That was our family dinner, you know, made for four, not six. You will pay for them as well. Coming up. They're throwing off my budget completely. I couldn't believe it. That was the most embarrassing moment in my life. We were Is promised that... a fine dining restaurant. You're thoroughly embarrassing everybody here. I'm not embarrassing anybody. Hi. Hi. How are you? I thought it was quite amazing that my aunt and uncle just happened to show up on our family dinner day. We would love to have you, Terrence. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 we would love to have you. They're throwing off my budget completely. But it's our family dinner, so I'm going to splurge. I'm going to do my thing, and they're going to be happy. I was the happiest guy in the world. I felt that I was going to eat like a champion. It's going to be really top notch, and it's going to be very expensive. You can imagine the dismay on everyone's face when he pulls up to a Chinese buffet. Aha! I couldn't believe it. All I could see was food stacked upon each other. We were is promised that... fine dining. This is fine dining. Look at this. Feel the veneer of the table. What about one time eating something that we want to eat that's really nice? Yeah, you're going to have whatever you want. Oh, whatever buffet? You want. You're going to like Come the food on. here. You guys don't seem very hungry. You want to sit and talk for a while. Oh, so no, I we're just upset. Know. We want to leave. That's you're, what we want to do. You're not upset. We want to leave. Honey. We want to go to yeah. find well, out. Well, you well, well, trusted well. me? At least give it a try. We at least agree to give it a try. I guess we're here. We're not going anywhere else. OK. My family is showing a distinct lack of appreciation. All right, I'm going to go, and, uh, and I'm going to make sure that everybody's happy. All right, folks. There you go. What, what is that? That's our food. Uh... He grabbed three plates, thinking he was going to pay for three people. But there were six of us. You only pay for three That's plates? That's delicious. I know I got your favorites. You only pay for three plates? If I have more than this number of plates, then I have to pay for more people. I, I, that's a lot of food. I thought he'd pay for each of us to eat. For us to share, that was unacceptable. I was so mortified that he would even suggest it. We 
worked out our own place, Look. but I expect you to pay for it. That's it. This is not the food that I hoped for. Sure it is. I mean, come on. Pizza. This is just so good. OK, what is this? That's, that's fine dining, mother. All right, looks like a wet noodle. Well, I'll tell you what. Next year, you don't get to choose. Being at home and him doing things cheap is OK to some degree. But when we're in public, it's not good. It's embarrassing because people might be in earshot or looking. That's your track, sir. Oh, no. $92.28. That's literally all my change. He is going to pay $92 with quarters, nickels, and dimes. I've been saving for this all year. When Terrence walked in with this huge bag of coins, I wanted to hide under the table. You're thoroughly embarrassing everybody here. I am not embarrassing anybody. I saved and scrimped for this money. I just thought that was the most embarrassing moment in my life. I just can't imagine. <laughs> this is really happening. I'm just embarrassed. We're not going to stay wait around. So here it is. I'm starting to count out all my change, you know, doing my thing. You know, my wife is standing there, and she's like, <laughs> Uh, I don't believe this. 92.10. We just couldn't believe that he was really counting those pennies, and I couldn't believe that he was actually going through with it. I have never seen anyone pay for them with the coins. Never. Let's go. Thank you for appreciating my tip. Hey, it only happens once a year. Coming up. I'll do anything to save a buck. By washing my clothes in the shower with me, uh, I'm saving at least $15 a month. You sound really cute. Um, would you want to go out tomorrow? Yeah. Can I have a sweet tea? Sweet tea. A sweet tea uh, free refill on My name's Greg Ensko. I'm 29 years old. I've lived in Cincinnati, Ohio all my life. I'm a Zumba dance instructor, and I'm an extreme cheapskate. I'll do a clinical study anytime I can, because those pay really good money. I really wanted to buy this lowrider, and I had to get $3,500 somehow. I got really lucky. The clinical study that I found online was paying the same amount. I had to put uh, ointment in my butt, but I got a car out of it, so it was well worth it. I'll do anything to make a buck. You just use the window squeegees, and you can really wash your whole car with it. I don't know who would spend money on a car wash when you can wash it yourself right here. Hi, welcome to my condo. I got pretty lucky. One of the ladies from Zumba said, hey, my grandpa just passed away if you want to live in our condo for free. In return, I'm supposed to mow her lawn, but you know, you can't beat free rent. Uh, this is all from when the guy passed away. He left it all here. I didn't have any furniture. It worked out nice. These are my roommates. We got Raj and Kevin here. It's painful bringing women back to the apartment because furniture is everything. It's embarrassing. This place definitely smells like old people. I don't know how much Greg pays for the apartment, but I do know that Kevin and I pay a pretty fair amount. It's a large three-bedroom condo, so I knew I'd be able to take my roommates with me and uh, charge them rent even though I'm living for free. This is the kitchen. Um, all right, where to begin? There's no point in paying for anything that you should get for free in life. I never spend money on condiments. Anytime you go to a restaurant, just take extra when you're there. I would never pay for paper plates or any kind of plate, really. I got lucky. I got these for my, uh, my nephew's birthday party. To save money on cups, um, I actually reuse yogurt cups. I got this from my grandma. This way, they're all labeled. Everybody knows whose cup's whose. But if we get a guest, I actually give them the big cup so uh, it makes them feel special. I don't put them in the dishwasher because the dishwasher wastes way too much money on electric and water, so I just hand wash them in the sink. There's no point in having a bulb inside a refrigerator. I took the bulb out of the refrigerator. It saves me almost $40 a year in electric. Uh, this is my closet. When I go shopping, I always leave the tags on the shirt because you never know if it's going to go out of style. So always keep the tags, and you can just return them later. I paid for them. It's not stealing if you pay for it. I'm living the dream. As soon as I'm done living the dream, I just return it. Biggest money saver in the whole condo is right here in the bathroom. Greg thinks that he lives a pretty normal life, and most other people would probably think so too until they get to know him. He takes showers with his clothes on. 
by washing my clothes in the shower with me, uh, I'm saving at least $15 a month because I don't have to use a washer, a dryer, soap. When I take a shower, I keep a bucket in there and it catches all the excess water from me. At the end of the week, when I'm ready to flush the toilet, I take that water and pour it directly into the toilet and that's what causes the toilet to flush. That way I'm not wasting any water. I like going on free internet dating sites. By far the best part about online dating is you don't have to spend money on dinner and drinks and uh, wasting gas, going places, meeting people. Just get online and uh, it's free. This girl's kind of hot. Uh, she likes fancy restaurants and traveling. <laughs> Next. All right, here's one. She likes shopping and wine tasting. <laughs> That's way too expensive. Easy going, homebody, good cook. Oh, she likes camping. Oh, and she likes long walks. Long walks are free. I like this one. Hi, is Brandy there? Yeah, this is her. Hey, um, I saw your ad online, actually. Um, you look kind of cute. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to meeting Brandy because uh, we both met on a free dating site. Do you want to go out tomorrow? Yeah. I'm assuming and hoping that she is a cheapskate as well. I'll email you the address of the place, OK? All right, talk to you later. All right, thanks, bye. Bye. Coming up. Can I get another sweet tea? Are the refills free on our tea? Greg is a little cheap. It was a little weird. Well, Brandy, you sound really cute. Um, would you want to go out tomorrow? Yeah. I'm really looking forward to meeting Brandy because uh, we both met on a free dating site. So uh, I'm assuming and hoping that she is a cheapskate as well. Now you see it, now you don't. I'm taking Brandy to a barbecue restaurant because it's much cheaper than like a sushi place. But I'm hoping that she ate earlier so she's not as hungry. Hi, you must be Brandy? Yes. I'm Greg. Greg, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. What do you think of the place? I like it. Pretty cool? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I love it. They let you like keep the utensils and everything. Yeah. <laughs> when I first met Greg, he seemed like a nice guy, sweet. Typically, I wouldn't be asked to go on my first date at a barbecue place only because it's messy and he's more casual. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Hi. Welcome to Pit to Play Barbecue. Awesome. How about something to drink? Can I have a sweet tea? Sweet tea. Is sweet tea uh, free refills on that? Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Free Thank refills you. on tea. Can I just get a water and a to-go cup, please? Water and a to-go cup? Yes. All righty. Are you real hungry? Uh, I'm not starving or nothing. Oh, so like you want to like share a meal, maybe? Yeah, we can do that. OK. Did you see the kids' menu? Everything, mm. it just flipped over to the other side. And it's only $4.95. All right, let's see. We could get a veggie plate. That's only $5.50. Or you could get the uh, sweet and sour hot sauce for only $2.95. I've learned that Greg doesn't like to spend lots of money. There's nothing wrong with it, just it's different. Have you all made the choice? Uh, what would you like to order? Yes, yes, I think we're ready. Um, I'm just going to take the pulled pork sandwich. All right. It's pretty pulled popular. Pork sandwich for you? Here, right. It's very good. Oh, is that pretty good size, the pulled pork sandwich? It's a nice portion. Uh, like big enough for two, probably? Just depends Probably. how hungry Probably. you are. You're not real hungry, right? Nah. OK, perfect. Also, can we get a rib? OK, you'd like uh, a rack of ribs? No, just like one rib. Oh. It, the, the rack is like kind of expensive. And I didn't know if you would like it, so I thought maybe we'd just get one, just in case. OK, so you'd like one rib? Yes, please. Most guys, when they ask girls to go on dates, they really want to impress or show off. And so it's just it was different to see him really not care. It was a little weird. Here's your food. Pulled Thank pork you. sandwich with a side of mac and cheese. That looks good. Thank you. And here's your one rib. Oh, right. Thank you. Did you want to try some of those? Um, no, it's OK. It's. You sure? Yeah, it's, there's not a lot there. It's really good, though. Yeah. Well, do you want some uh, macaroni? Oh, yeah. Actually, I would love some macaroni. Good. Maybe a little bit of pork, too. Yeah. Well, we'll just do about half, then. Is that OK? OK. OK. okay. Oh, that would be nice. Thank, Thank you. you. So. 
What else do you do besides save cups and utensils? What else? Uh, at my condo, like to save money on water, we only flush once a week. And I save like $30 a month easily. Hmm. So you guys go to the bathroom the whole week and you don't flush. That's pretty disgusting. If you come over, I'll let you flush. Once. If that's how he wants to live his life, it's good for him. Just too extreme for me. I would never do it. Here are all the things you asked for. Oh, thank you. Let me know if anything else you need. OK, thank you. Sure. All right. Do you mind handing me your plate? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to take the plate home with me, too. I don't like to waste food. Are you going to eat the food? Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, perfect. All that. But you can never have too much barbecue sauce. True. Oh, don't forget your cocoa. Yep. yep. Greg is a very sweet guy, funny, He's a little cheap, but nice guy overall. Thank you for taking me out. I want a girl like me for me. Well, I had a lot of fun tonight. Would you want to go out again sometime? Yeah, I did. I had a good time. Thank you. Even though he's a little cheap, I could look past that. And definitely, he's a really sweet guy. So I would definitely go out with Greg again. Bye. If somebody doesn't like you for who you are, then you shouldn't be with them.